Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to simplify this linear equation in single variable. We will be solving two examples in this video. So let's start with our first example. Here we have an equation x plus 11 divided by x plus 3 is equal to 7 by 3. For solving these equations we can directly use the cross multiplication method where we multiply the denominator of first fraction by the numerator of second and the denominator of second fraction by the numerator of the first fraction. So we will have 3 times x plus 11 is equal to 7 times x plus 3. Now we can distribute and solve this. So 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 11 is 33 is equal to 7 times x is 7x plus 7 times 3 is 21. Now we will move the variables on one side and constant on one side. So here we have 7x and we will bring 3x on this side. So this will be minus 3x and we will bring 21 to left hand side so this will be 33 minus 21 so 33 minus 21 will be 12 and 7x minus 3x is 4x now to find the value of x we are going to divide both the sides of the equation by 4 so this is 12 by 4 is equal to 4x divided by 4 this 4 gets cancelled this is 4 times 1 and this is 4 times 3 so the value of x comes out to be 3. So this is how we can solve these type of equation. Let us move on to our second example. Here we have x plus 76 divided by x is equal to 5. So we can rewrite the equation as x plus 76 divided by x is equal to 5 divided by 1. Now we can use the cross multiplication method to simplify the equation. So we will cross multiply, this is 1 times x plus 76 is equal to 5 times x. x plus 76, we will distribute, so 1 times x is x and 1 times 76 is 76 is equal to 5x. Now we will transpose x to the right hand side, so this is 76 is equal to 5x minus x. Now 5x minus x is 4x is equal to 76 for finding the value of x we will divide both the sides by 4 so 4x divided by 4 is equal to 76 divided by 4 so these two 4 gets cancelled 4 times 1 and 4 times 1 and 4 times 9 so the value of x is equal to 19 so this is how you can simplify the linear equation in single variable of this kind I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.